One of the things I enjoy most about a Godzilla movie is the design of the monsters, particularly Godzilla, because they really help to relate the style of the movie and the kind of Godzilla the movie is trying to portray. For instance, when you see Shin Godzilla, you can tell that Shin Godzilla is clearly a freak of nature, something that is merely not meant to be. It is a perfect symbol for what they were trying to portray with nuclear power. When you look at legendary Godzilla, however, from the American movies, you can clearly tell that this is not some freak of nature, but something that is part of the natural order. There are lots of things you can tell about a particular Godzilla based on his design, and that's why one of the things that gets me so excited about a new Godzilla movie, whenever it happens, is the design. I'm always so excited to see exactly what kind of Godzilla we're going to get. So when Godzilla's 68th anniversary came around the corner, I thought what better way is there to celebrate his 68th anniversary than to redesign Godzilla himself. And if I was doing that, I might as well redesign Gigant too, since it's his 50th anniversary. But by the time I was finished, I just wanted to do more. There are so many monsters out there some of them 40, 50 years old, that haven't had a good design in half a century. Of course, we see the newer ones, like Ghidorah, Rodan, Mothra, who have had updates recently in their design. But then there's others like King Caesar, Jet Jaguar, Megalon. Some of these creatures haven't appeared in a movie since the 70s. And then there are others like Biollante, who are newer but haven't made an appearance in the Godzilla franchise for quite some time. So I thought I'd challenge myself to redesign all monsters, particularly monsters from the Toho Godzilla movies. I will not be redesigning monsters from the legendary Godzilla series, the American movies. For one thing, they are not classic Godzilla monsters. For another, they are relatively new Godzilla monsters, meaning that their design is already new and I don't believe needs an update yet. I will also not be redesigning any classic Toho monsters that have not appeared in any classic Toho Godzilla movies. So that rules out any of the monsters that appeared in the Mothra Reborn trilogy. That also rules out Gyra and Sanda and Gizora and a lot of other monsters I don't feel like naming right now. I will also not be redesigning any of the monsters that appeared in any of the uh, anime movies or show. For one thing, I don't consider anime to be real Godzilla, and for another, I don't think those movies or those TV shows deserve any attention on this channel. So that makes just the monsters that have appeared in a Godzilla Toho movie. Which is a wide variety as it is. I mean, the list of those monsters even includes King Kong himself, and even Zilla. For while they might not have their origins in classic Godzilla movies, they certainly did appear in classic Toho Godzilla movies. And if we were to rule out monsters that did not have their origins in classic Toho Godzilla movies, then that would mean Mothra and Rodan would be ruled out too, and those two monsters are definitely too important to overlook. I already have a few designs ready to be published, and I have many more ideas that I am excited to start working on, so I hope you enjoy this Design All Monsters video series.